Hi, I'm Hamza Rahman. We're doing the science project today. Don't you ever wonder why we always bring different types of bags home every day? Sometimes we bring in paper bags and sometimes we bring in plastic bags. So today we are going to figure out which bag really holds the most weight. In this experiment we are using a plastic bag from Walmart and a paper bag from Macy's. You may also need weights to put in the bag. You can use some just normal weights or you can use some Ziploc bags filled with sand and you have to weigh them and then see how much they weigh. And they need to be weighed about 5 to 10 pounds and then you write it at the top and you may need about 5 to 7 of these different weights. But today, because it's easier, we are using the normal weight. Put the bag up by putting a stand here and then put, using a rod and putting it in, in the stand. On the other side, you might need another stand if you have one, but if you don't have one, you can use a desk or a table. So you, you put the bag in by just taking the stand out and just holding the rod and then putting the bag to slide it in and put the stand back. Now we are ready to begin. First, we are going to be starting off by the heavy ones. This is a 14.3 pound uh, weight. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a Walmart bag. Plastic bag. Okay, let's see how I can do the first one. Would you like, so you, it, if it, uh, if it drops, it won't hurt your leg. Now we'll use another one. And this is the same thing, 14.3 pounds, about 15. Maybe I need to like, move it a little because you really need some space to put these big pounds in. Oh my god, it can hold that too. Okay, now we'll go a little um, lower in the weight. Okay, um, now we have a, like about 9 pounds weight. total weight and we got 44 to 45 pounds that normal bag can hold. Now let's move on and testing the paper bag. Now we are going to be testing the Macy's paper bag. It should be about the same size as the one plastic bag. You should put the weights in the same way that you put them inside of the longer plastic bag from, from the heaviest the light. So we're going to start off with 14.3 pounds, the head. So we're going to pull it and move the feet so it doesn't fall. Put it in 
really carefully. Don't just drop it in. Okay, you can hold. Now, he, he, now let's try another one. Another 14.3 because it looks a little shaky. Let's use half of that and put it in. So it should be about 8.8 .8 to 9 pounds. Okay, now let's take another one and another 8.8 .8 or 9 pounds. Okay, now that more that can hold more than the plastic bag. Okay, now because it looks like it's about to rip, um, we'll put just half of the weight that we just put in. So that's about 4.4 .4 to 5 pounds. Okay. Okay, now this is the final one. Oh, it would be crazy if it didn't rip. So proceed. Whoa, it held that much! Okay, now let's see the result. The bag rip, you realize the bag rip more from the bottom than from the top because look how much it from the bottom. And it didn't even rip from the top. That's opposite from the plastic bag. When the bag ripped, the total amount of weight that was in the bag was 55 pounds. So, but we have to do the same thing with the paper bag that we did with the plastic bag. So we take the last weight that we put in and take half of it away. So that makes that the paper bag can hold 52 to 53 pounds of weight. And the plastic bag can hold 44 to 45 pounds of weight. So that means the paper bag can hold more weight. So that means my hypothesis was wrong. I thought the plastic bag would hold more because it has more elasticity. And the paper bag would just rip. Okay, now the results are that the paper bag holds more weight. Thank you for watching my science project. See you next time.